Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. It is time to talk 300 Blackout. If you're curious about 300 Blackout, if you like shooting 300 Blackout, if you want to talk 300 Blackout subsonic, supersonic, if you're curious about reloading 300 Blackout, you're in the right place because I'm going to cover all of that in kind of an ongoing series. And to start it all off, I wanted to do a little show and tell to show you the rifle that I put together. So I started out with a Sharps Rifle Company lower. This is from one of my 2545 Sharps Rifle. I really like the trigger on this one, so I thought I would use this for this particular rifle package. I topped that off with an Anderson Manufacturing 16-inch barrel upper in 300 blackout. And this one has a regular DI, direct impingement gas system. It's got an adjustable gas block. And it's got a pistol length gas system. So what's nice about that is if I wanted to go to a shorter barrel or run a pistol configuration, I could definitely do that. And it's tunable because I've got that adjustable gas block in case I need to kind of fine tune anything. And I actually haven't had to yet. So let me uh, talk about a little bit of the specs here with this upper. So it's got the EXT forearm. It's got one and eight twist. It's got a five eighths by 24 threaded muzzle. It's got a 0.125 inch gas port and it's got an M16 carrier. Let me show you that real quick. I've had zero problems with this upper so far. It's just performed really, really well. Here's the M16 bolt carrier and bolt. Throw a little lube on it and go. So it's been really just kind of a, a plug and play, ready to run and gun kind of a configuration. I've got the collapsible buttstock, which is nice on this particular rifle because I'm using a Condor double rifle case. Just took it to the range yesterday, the range in Yakima, and I had my AK-47 and this 300 Blackout side by side in a double rifle case. And I like that kind of smaller, more compact form factor. And on top, we've got a Vortex cantilevered mount for the AR. And this is the Strike Eagle 1 to 6 by 24. Really dig the scope for this particular kind of a configuration. Because I have 1 to 6 power, so if I'm reaching out a little bit more, that's great. It's really clear, and it has an illuminated reticle. Now I'm shooting a lot of tracers, so sometimes I'm going to be shooting in the twilight or whatever, and having that illuminated reticle is a really nice extra feature that I am actually using on kind of a regular basis. So this baby is ready to go, and so, so here's what I've done with it so far. I've used this rifle for kind of my load development and testing. Let's talk about some of the loads that I've run here. So I'm using a couple different Match Monster bullets from Mid-South Shooter Supply. I've got 155 grain match monsters that are running supersonic. And then I'm using the 190 grain match monsters, both for the subsonic rounds and for supersonic rounds. And these, the subs with the uh, Silencer Co. Omega 30 that I'm running are absolutely just a ton of fun. I mean, no hearing protection required and low recoiling, especially with the integral muzzle brake on, on that Omega-30. Uh, really, really fun stuff, but <laughs> I don't know if that's more fun or these tracers. These are 144 grain pull downs, probably from 30-06 ammo, uh, something like that, and they are just super fun, uh, especially here at my property. I can kind of shoot up towards the hills. It just started snowing in earnest, so I can basically light up the hills all night long, you know, if need be. And it's a great, a great way to use these 30 cal tracers on an AR platform is with 300 blackout. They just, they, they run really, really well. So, so far, really good results uh, with this particular rifle. It's been the upper, the Anderson upper has been 100% functioning, except I did, I noticed with this uh, Magpul mag, I had a little bit of an issue with the 190s. I don't know if because it's because I have them loaded really long, but they, with the magazine kind of full, were a little bit finicky getting the first round to, to chamber, but that wasn't the fault of the upper. 
I think I'm going to try a steel mag with these particular cartridges to see if they feed a little bit well. And I found that if I had the cartridges seated well towards the back and I was careful about loading and all that, that uh, I only had that happen a couple times. Um, all of this ammunition has performed 100% outside of that single issue with, with the magazine. And um, what I need to do next is you know, start to take more chronograph data. I threw the 190 grain match monsters over, over the chrony to get down to my optimal sub load. And what I was using for that, a lot of the subsonic ammo is about 1,050 feet per second. I just kind of tried to tailor it so that it was right at 1,000. I felt like you know, that would be a good starting point. And I didn't know with the Silencer Co. Omega 30 if that was going to throw things off or not in terms of feeding and the gas system, but uh, it didn't at all. It ran really perfect. Um, so I'm having fun with this rifle. I, I, I can't get enough of it, actually. <laughs> I'm shooting it every day, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys my reloading setup. I've got the Hornady to lock and load set up, and it was set up for 223, so it was just super simple. Same shell plate, same primers, all that. Uh, I'm using CFE BLK across the board for all these loads so far. That's the Hodgson powder that's optimized for 300 blackout. And it also works real good for other cartridges like 762 by 39 So kind of a little bit of a kickoff. Uh, again, if what are you guys running for 300 blackout rifles? I'd love to see what kind of rigs you're running, what kind of results that you're getting, what kind of accessories that you're throwing on there. Um, this Anderson unit has been great so far. I love the adjustability of it, uh, and I can't wait to, to try more stuff, more bullets, more loads, more muzzle accessories, suppressors, all of it. When it comes to subsonic stuff, I'm totally sold. I think it's just totally cool. So anyways, sh drop a comment, share your results, share your rigs, share what you're running, and if you don't want to miss any of the additional 300 Blackout content, make sure you're subscribed to GavinTube with notifications, of course, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting, happy reloading.